Hi, okay, well, welcome back. Just a very quick one today. This is a little test for you. You remember that last time we looked at Duff uh, Elements of New Testament Greek sections 1.2, 1.3 on breathings and capital letters. And I've also said to you that I'm not teaching you how to read the New Testament in Greek. I'm helping you to teach yourself how to do it, and you're gonna to have to be reading Duff along with these videos in order to be able to make sense of anything at all, because I'm not gonna tell you everything that's there. So in the last video, I didn't tell you one important thing about breathings, which Duff tells you, and I want you to see if you can spot what it is. So here's the question. Look at these three words. Akuo, Akuo means I hear, Abram, well, guess what that means? That's a proper name, means Abraham, and rabbi means teacher. Okay, which of these needs a breathing? Obviously, you're not sure necessarily which sort of breathing it needs, but which of these needs a breathing? All of them, just one or two of them? Pause the video, take a look, and then try and work out what you think. Okay, did you pause the video? Which of these needs a breathing? Well, this one needs a breathing, a kuro, because it begins with a vowel, and it needs a smooth breathing, which you should have been able to guess from the way I pronounced it, a kuro, not hakuro. The a sound means there's no rough breathing, a smooth breathing like that. Abram, you should be able to guess that that needs a breathing too, because it's a vowel, and it's a smooth breathing because it's abram, not habram. But where does the breathing go? There's no space up here. You can't write a breathing there, because that's above the line. What you can do is put the breathing next to it there. So, akuo abram. What about this one? Rabbi. Does that need a breathing? Well, yes, it does. One of the quirks about uh, New Testament Greek, about ancient Greek in general, is that the letter rho, this letter, transliterated as an English R, behaves in some ways like a vowel. Now, obviously, you can see how that is, can't you? Because, listen, rrrr. It's not actually that dissimilar from a vowel sound, like er, 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 you know, a, a letter, a long oo sound or an er sound. So it behaves in some ways like a vowel, and therefore it too has a breathing. And it always has a rough breathing when it comes at the beginning of a word. So all three of these words need a breathing. You'd have got that if you've been reading along with us in Duff. So make sure that's what you're doing. Watch these videos to help you to teach yourself New Testament Greek, 20 minutes a day, 30 minutes a day, five or six days a week. I promise you, in a year or two, you won't recognize yourself and you'll be able to read the New Testament in Greek. Okay, God bless. See you next time.